Welcome to Fairfax House. The house is called Fairfax because it was bought by Viscount Fairfax in 1760 for his daughter Anne. She was his only surviving child from nine children. The house itself was built in the 1740s as a very plain townhouse. But the Viscount employed John Carr, the Yorkshire architect, to gentrify the house. abundance which would which meant to show how the generosity of the Viscount and his dining took place here. They were very lavish with their food and their wines and the table is set for the Christmas dining with the Greek temple that would be here in sugar paste. The ceilings also included symbolism including bows which symbolised betrothal and weddings in the hope that his daughter Anne would marry and she perhaps would live here. We're now on the grand staircase. The Venetian window here was designed by John Carr and was a feature of the staircase. When we look up at the ceiling, we have lots of symbolism for Catholicism. Not least one of them, on the far wall, we have a dragon with wings extended. And this, if we look closely, is a female dragon. And this was said to represent Mary, the daughter of James II, who married William of Orange, thereby ensuring the Protestant succession. bedroom and this is a portrait of Anne painted when she was about 17. Anne was engaged to two gentlemen and the second time she was within five days of marrying. This man was a man named William Constable from Burton Constable Hall near Bridlington. Both families had gone to London for the wedding and five days prior to the wedding Anne and her father wrote to William Constable asking him how many times he'd been to Mass the previous week. The answer came back that he'd been twice. Unfortunately, both Anne and her father expected him to go at least once a day and with that in mind, the wedding was called off and Anne never actually married. used for entertaining. We have a spinet which Anne would be accomplished at playing to show to her suitors. The colour of the room is a vibrant vermilion damask. However, Anne being of a very sensitive nature felt this was too vibrant and so pleaded with her father to change the colour and changed it to a soft pastel blue. The Viscount succumbed to her wishes and wrote to a friend that his daughter's house was draining him of all his resources. When her father died in 1772, this house, Fairfax House, that she had hoped to live in with her husband, she sold and returned to Gilling Castle near Ampleforth and became very much a recluse. 